Hello out there, uh, fish fam, or just people that watch my fish tube <laughs> uh, in general. So the hardest part is done. Um, yes, I do have a Walmart filter next to a power head catching current to add carbon to this because I don't have any carbon in here. Anyways, I think the hardest part is done. As far as the, I took all the pairs of cichlids that were paired up around here, which included these convicts, already had freaking babies and fry. So I think they got some of them and they're gathering them and throwing them in that cup. So they're working on that. But the hardest part is done, which was getting the bass moved. And honestly, the carpenter cichlids are happy as heck that there is no more convicts in here. Um... It does look like I need to clean the tank a little bit, but other than that, they're back to being their normal selves and hanging out with the Tetras. But as far as this goes, I do see some biting on the shark, the iridescent shark, which could be a problem because now there's like fire mouths. There's all my nice cichlids are in here, and I, I just seen that. The, the cichlid attacked the shark right there, and he's doing it again. But if they cause that shark to damage anything back here, which that shark can do. It's it's a uh, catfish that has a big dome, just runs into things. Uh, the only thing I have to worry about now is if anything's getting picked on, I just have to remove it. So now, I, now that I have all these breeding cichlids together in the 75 gallon pond, that's cool. So now I don't have to worry about breaking up breeding habits. They have enough room to run from each other. I got caves over here, over here, and this is a circular current that moves around. You know, if anybody starts picking on that shark, now I can get the shark out. And now over here, if they don't want to breed and the female wants to get away from the male, she has the whole tank too. So if I have to, I can always move the two large catfish, which there's a two-foot pleco in here, and a the iridescent shark, who's a little over a foot, maybe bigger, I don't know. But if he starts freaking out a little bit more, maybe I'll get in here and I'll be able to transfer them because what I ended up doing was... I'm just going to take you along for the ride. What I ended up doing was, for now, I took some of my older fish and put them with these guys to see if they'll break up the fighting. Uh, there's a Severum. So I put the Turquoise Severum to break up their breeding. And my Angelfish Psycho. Psycho! Which I hope he does okay in here. He's been with the uh, Tiger Pike before. They never had any problems. Uh, the peacock bass is all I'm kind of worried about, but as far as the, this is the peacock bass's first reaction to the, uh, an angelfish, honestly. So he'll probably be used to it. Now she's all alone. Big Mama's all alone in that pond. But what I didn't realize until I got him in here was how big my peacock bass had gotten. So I kept the parrotfish in here and Right now, uh, Gyarados, the dinosaur fish, and I brought Mama from the pond back there out. Now, what I'm hoping this does is makes it to where the peacock ends up having some tank mates. Maybe they get along, maybe they don't. But what I'm noticing is already the parrotfish is already starting fights with the pike, which that's typical. The parrotfish has been a fighter, always will be. But what I'm wanting to make sure is this peacock bass doesn't eat the dinosaur fish sparkles you back in your original tank bro i don't want to spook him or stress him out but this tank's way warmer than what he had before buddy show us what's up with your beautifulness But yeah, this uh, female peacock has been in that pond with the catfish, and she almost got ate. Uh, the, tonight was probably going to be the night, so I'm glad I moved on that. But like I said, this sets it up to where if I need, if need be, I can get the catfish and just throw him in here. He's already like, she's already like, what'd you do, man? This is so small compared to my other spot. This is tiny. Why would I want to be in here? Mama. Mama. Man, she's getting old. It's crazy to see, like, I, she's been in a pond for so long, I haven't seen her. And, man, she just got some old markings all over her face. And Wow, it's kind of neat to see her like this.
sucks that it has to be in such a small tank but looks like uh her and the parrotfish hit it off so maybe you know she won't go without having a tank mate swim around baby swim around you know now that i got it out of the pond and it's been a while since i've seen it it almost looks like a male but no, I can't record too long because I do got to keep an eye on this. Like I said, I did want to get her out in the 90 gallon along with my pike cichlids. So I do have a bass and a pike here and then a bass and a pike over there. And if anybody picks on the other fish near them, I'll just move the fish around them. But my hopes here, yeah, I think she's a male. I'm definitely seeing the slight head hump now. Baby, come out here. Baby, I'm here. Been following my hand all day, and now that I got her out in the tank, she's like scared. Yeah, it's it's crazy, man. She hasn't seen the seen out here in a long time. Beautiful fish, though, man. Either way, I'm going to keep her out here, or him. I'm going to go ahead and stop recording though so I can keep an eye on things. I still have stuff to do. I got to bail out all this water, and I honestly got to rearrange that, get the pike off to the corner a little bit, and uh, spread out the rocks because the parrotfish has been making nests for the other fish, which, you know, the parrotfish might even do better in the pond. Um, sometimes weird things like that happen. As long as she doesn't, it's looking like she's cool with the bass, which is super weird, man. I did not think they would be cool with each other. Gyarados is scared crapless, though, because of the size of the other fish. But And look at that little pleco over there getting busy on the sponge. Look at how big, uh, big this fish is near next to it. Little pleco. But no, they, they don't usually mess with the dwarf plecos for some reason. Maybe it's because they're so small, they just blend in. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make sure everybody gets situated. And uh, I'll try to see if I can give you some updated footage. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, they're loving on each other, so... At least he ain't going to be in here alone. Wow. I did not expect that. For that parrotfish to just accept the peacock bass. That's kind of cool, guys. Now, see it. Let's see if it's the other way around. It looks like it's submitting. I'm just a little worried about Gyarados here. He's freaking out a little bit, which I would be too. The parrotfish doesn't really like him, and I bet he tried to hide in that cave and then Mama bit at him. So maybe, uh,. The thing is, I'm going to have to get the Pleco out if I put Gyarados in the back tank. You know what? Gyarados can go with the Green Terrors now that I think about it. There's no reason why he can't. Let me, uh, let me just, real quick, we'll go ahead and check. See what these guys are doing. Looks like they're just figuring each other out. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and quickly check to make sure. But... I don't think, I think everybody's the appropriate size in here to where they won't get eaten by my old Gyarados. You know what? Yeah, they all are. The only one I'd be a little worried about is this albino Oscar. But honestly, Oscars can hold their own. They're pretty mean. Um, Yeah, I think this is perfect, actually. Perfect tank for the Gyarados. He will do good with you guys. God, you're mean. You were already attacking my hand. What you want? See, my plans were to get all these, uh, the bigger growing ones, up out to about the same age. And then put them all together in a big plywood tank that I make myself. But I haven't made it yet. So, But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get Gyarados put in here. And hopefully I'd, I'm going to put the camera down because I'm not going to try to do that one-handed. But uh, yeah, I think that's how we're going to have to pull it, roll with it right now. Because it uh, looks like everybody else is pretty much set. Um, see if the shark's getting picked on more. He kind of is. 
But see, I don't think the red-tailed catfish had a problem with the shark or the placo. So, you know, maybe that pond, that 150 out there will just have to be Catfish Kingdom. Um, and, uh, yeah. So that that's just a, a successful move to me. I mean, no one died. That's my biggest worry is them making a mess and dying. Uh, I've The hardest one, the one that made the most fuss was the, uh, the pike, actually. Mama the pike, I've had her for six years and she she did not want to be moved man when i when i scooped that net up underneath her she knew she was caught i thought the bass would make the biggest fuss and no it was uh mama over here mama 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 what's up big bass yeah you've been getting beat up in there huh I hope she doesn't stress out too bad in this tank. Or he. Now that I'm starting to see it's got a head home. Cool though. Yeah. Actually I'll keep Gyarados in here for a little bit longer. I don't want to assume that he's going to hurt Gyarados. Doesn't look like you'll hurt him. Man, the parafish really likes the bass. That's really strange, man. That is so super weird, but, you know, fish are never predictable. I'll tell you that. <laughs> One thing I've learned. Mama, we're going to move your hut here. We're going to give you the corner. Baby girl, we're going to give you the corner. Hi. How are you? I'm not going to come near you. Mama, go back to your home. Go back to your home. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give this a nice stir, though, because I just don't want that fish hurting itself. God, that's a big fish, guys. I can't believe I raised that thing from a little tiny fish. Hey, baby. Come here. Get out of that corner. You're going to hurt yourself. Such a crazy fish, dude. God, I love my fish. All right, I'm going to get back to work, guys.